The U.S. Women's National Team heads into its third group match here at the Algarve Cup in an unfamiliar position, having yet to win a game. But a victory over Denmark will put the USA into either the third or fifth place match, depending on the result between Sweden and Japan. The Americans have done much of what they needed to do to win the first two matches, except put the ball in the net. And that's something they're hoping to remedy against the Danes. It's really ironic when um, you, you analyze the last two games and compare them, say, to the Canada game earlier this year or the game against uh, Australia and Brazil late last year. The things we've done in this, these last two games have been much, much better in, in many ways. And that's the, the beauty and the frustrations of our game is that the result doesn't always equate to performance. So it, it's really important uh, that our team stay positive and stay upbeat, that we look at the games and we look at the matches in a real clinical way and take the result away and, and actually look at the performance, things that we've done well and the things that we need to improve on. But overall, you know, we played two of the best teams in the world over the last uh, three or four days, created numerous chances, given up very few chances, dominated games, even dominated possession against Japan, and, and unfortunately didn't get the result. So, um, you know, it, as frustrating as that may be, there's been an awful lot of positive signs in these last two games. I missed the Sweden game because I was sick at, back at the hotel in my bed. Um, I got food poisoning, so... Uh was not very fun. It was terrible <laughs> and violent. <laughs> so I was not feeling very well. Obviously I really wanted to play but had no energy and was still sick during the game so I'm feeling better though. Heading into this I mean we've had chances you know that's not the problem. Um, we need to start we need to finish them. So hopefully you know heading into this game we're you know Coming off of a loss, uh, obviously our team took that pretty hard and I think that, you know, maybe as of right now that's the best thing for us. So we can really just kind of figure out, you know, what we need to do as a team and come together and uh, start scoring some goals and, and winning. I think that we've had two solid defensive games. Obviously we haven't gotten the results. Um, against Japan it was a set piece and uh, against uh, Sweden it was really against the run of play. Both great opponents, but I really felt like the defense did well, and, and the midfield and the forwards, obviously, team defense did well to kind of stymie any real attack, and any chance to play another game is a chance to get better, and, you know, we know that we have yet to win a game here at the Algarve, and, and uh, you know, this game is our chance to really say something and about the group and show that, um, you know, we've got tremendous spirit and, and uh, resiliency, and, and we, we want to come together and put together a good performance for our fans. I think that, you know, obviously we didn't get the results that we really truly wanted out of the first two matches, but I think uh, a little bit of adversity will be good for this group right now. As professionals and as elite players, we need to, you know, turn that frustration into just an ultimate focus and uh, do what we know we can do, and that's possess the ball, create good scoring opportunities, and put away our chances. The USA takes on Denmark in its final Group B match here at the Algarve Cup on Monday, March 10th with a kickoff at 10.40 a.m. Eastern Time. You can follow along on Twitter on US Soccer underscore WNT and watch highlights later on on USSoccer.com. From the Algarve Cup, that's it for this edition of Studio 90.